The Detroit City leader who came under fire after being pulled over by cops in his car is now at the center of a scandal involving some missing cars. A local widow says City Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry took her late husband's classic cars. Well, since all this began, Cushingberry has been dodging the cameras, but 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo tracked him down and talks exclusively with the grieving widow who is suing Cushingberry. Broke my trust, my heart, and put me in debt. After Roxanne Hudson's husband Larry died in 2011, Roxanne says she was a wreck until her husband's cousin came to her aid, or so she thought. She was like just right there to cover me through this whole thing, and then for her to do this to me. That really hurt at me. That cousin is 50 year old Cleo Wiley. Hudson says at the time, Wiley was dating lawyer George Cushenberry Jr., who now, of course, is Detroit City Council President Pro Tem. In fact, Wiley is also now at City Hall, working for Cushenberry. Back in 2011, Hudson says Cushenberry took over her late husband's estate in probate court, promising to sell Larry Hudson's prized classic cars to pay off funeral expenses and help his widow. Widow stay in her home. That 1926 Oakland. That was my husband's pride and joy. But Hudson says after Wiley arranged for the cars to be taken away for sale, she stopped hearing from either Cushingberry or Wiley. I thought this was done and over with. Everything was paid for, settled. And then here's a year and two months later, I found out they didn't receive anything. So Hudson sued Cushingberry and Wiley, but even then she could not figure out what happened to the cars. No phone calls. I sent them certified letters in the mail and asked them for the return of the cars back. The letters came back, no response. Accountability must be a foreign concept to this guy. He doesn't even communicate. Hudson's attorney, Anthony Lubkin, says Cushingberry has failed to show up for anything, including a case evaluation where a mediator recommended that Hudson be awarded $45,000. It makes me wonder how someone can be in a position of such power and trust for a whole city. But the longtime politician has no interest in talking about any of it. No comment. What happened to Roxanne no Hudson's comment. vehicles? I have nothing to do with it. Did you take those cars? No. Sir, you can't just keep saying no comment about these things. Did you take those vehicles? We've also been trying to reach Cleo Wiley. She has not returned our emails or calls. Roxanne Hudson will be back in court about the missing cars next week, and you can bet we will be there as well. Joanne.